Good morning class and welcome to Ballistics University. Today we're going to discuss sight alignment and trigger pull. Morning class and again today we're going to talk about sight alignment and trigger pull. Now a common question is how do I align my sights so I can hit what I'm aiming at? Well the best way to do that is to get a target that you can aim and shoot at that will record where your shots go. It's a lot of fun to go in the backyard and shoot at tin cans and bottles and stuff like that, but you really don't know where your bolt's going. You need to know exactly where you're at so you know how to adjust your sights. This is a rear sight you'll be seeing as you're looking down your pistol, whether it be an auto-loading pistol or revolver. Your rear sight will look like this. It will have a notch in the middle. Your front sight will be a post and it will look like this. You align your post with your notch on the rear sight and you line all that with your target. Right across the middle of the X, front and rear are all equal. An equal amount of space between each side, post lined up right in the middle. So you have to align your eye, your rear sight, your front post and your target all on the same focal plane. If you don't see all those things, you'll never hit your target. Now you'll say, well, if I'm looking at three different things, the rear sight, the front sight, and the target, my eye can't focus on all three of those things, so what do I look at? The answer is, you look at your front sight. If you look at your rear sight and focus on that sight, everything else will be blurred. If you look at your target, both of your sights will be blurred. So you look at your front sight, focus on the front sight, put it right in the middle, center it between your two rear posts, and that's the sight picture that you're looking for. Now most of the pistols that you buy from the factory, I know out of the box, that are SIGs or Glocks or Springfield, something like that, usually do not have adjustable rear sights. Those targets are set up so that you have a center of mass hole. You want to put the front post right on the X, put the rear sight right on either side of the X, equal amount of distance on either side. This is the way most factory pistols come. And the reason is because it's easier to shoot center mass because you're covering up the bottom half of the target. Now, if you have a target pistol or a target rifle that has adjustable rear sights, it's actually better to use a 6 o'clock hold, especially if you know you're going to be shooting at 50 yards at this target every time. Pistol competitors like consistency. If you're shooting at the same target every time, you can use a 6 o'clock hold and you'll have the entire target visible. 100% of the target will be sitting on your front post. Instead of trying to figure out, well, I think I've got 50% of it covered, and then as your sights are wobbling due to your stance, you say, well, now I have 40%, now I have 30%, and it's, it's harder to see how much of the target is being covered. Six o'clock hold is the way to go for target shooters, for combat shooters, or for out-of-the-box shooters in your backyard. Center mass hold is the way to do it. Now that we have the sights line, the next part of the puzzle is how do we pull the trigger? You have to have the trigger fire the firearm at exactly the point when all the sights are aligned and you've got a good front sight focus. Now how do you do that? Well, it depends on the firearm you have. This is a Kimber model 1911 with a 22 conversion kit on the top. It has a really nice crisp trigger with very little travel. Target shooters will fire the pistol and hold the trigger back. Let the gun recoil, go back into battery, then release the trigger. You'll feel a little click, and then you're ready to fire again. That's called trigger reset. Good target pistols have a real light, slow trigger reset so that you don't have to move the trigger a lot to get the next shot fired. Pull the trigger, keep the trigger to the rear, let the firearm recoil, now release your trigger. You'll feel a click and it's ready to fire again. Target shooters do this a lot. It keeps the sights aligned. You don't have to take your finger off the trigger because every time you take your finger off the trigger, you have to take up the slack again until you meet, re meet resistance for it to fire. Revolvers are a little bit different. Let's look at those. Now revolvers are a little different. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 617. Stainless, 22 long rifle. It's a good teaching tool also because it can shoot either single action where you have a nice light trigger pull or double action where you have to pull the trigger over the entire arc and have the hammer fall back 
onto the round. Single action is good for beginners because they can get a good sight alignment and hold the pistol steady while they fire it. And then when they start to think they're getting good, then make them shoot double action. It takes a lot of practice to hold that gun still as you're pulling that trigger all the way through its arc. Auto loaders are a little easier. All right, we talked about sight alignment. We talked about trigger pull. Now we're going to talk about which eye to keep open. The answer is both of them. Now our producer, director, cameraman slash computer genius has moved out of the way, so I'm not going to point the gun at him. The camera's on a tripod set up by itself. Safety is always important when you shoot. So it's easier to shoot with only your dominant eye and your left one closed because it gives you a better sight picture. But it's not the best way to do it. If you close your left eye, the pupil wants to dilate because there's darkness inside there. If your left side pupil dilates, the right side will dilate too. And if it dilates, it's going to be difficult to focus and you'll have a harder time. So learn how to shoot with both eyes open. It takes a lot of practice. You really have to concentrate on your dominant eye along your focal plane for your sights. But it's not impossible. Both eyes open. One more thing about how your eye focuses. It is easier to focus from an object far away to an object near than it is to focus for an object near farther away. Let's prove this to you. Look at an object far away, out in the field or out in your wall in your living room or something, and then stick your thumb up. Focus on that object on the wall and then change your focus to your thumb. Then change your focus from your thumb back to that object on the wall again. You should see that it's easier to focus from far to near than it is from near to far. So, when you're shooting, draw your pistol, look at your target far away, bring your hands up, bring your sights up, and then look for your front sight. Change your focus to your front sight, and it should be crisp and clear. Just an extra little thing for the target shooters. Sir Winston Churchill said, success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. So learn how to shoot. Just because you didn't hit your target every time today, doesn't mean you should give up. Keep at it. Learn how to do it properly. Shoot safely and shoot often. One more thing, class. If you like these videos, if you think they're helpful and educational, then subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook.